I seem to have stumbled upon a very scary Deadeye Thief build for PvP. As of making this, it's still in draft form, but assuming my little test drive works out, this could be my first homemade build in this game, and it might actually be good. I'll quickly go over my draft for you now. You can pause the video if you need more time to view something. After that, I'll give you my predictions and any other thoughts that came to mind. Then I'll demonstrate what this build can do against test dummies. There will be a second video after this one where I actually play this build inside matches, along with a third video where I compare how this build actually performed to what my predictions were. Now for my thoughts. My prediction is that this build will be great for someone like me who is currently inexperienced at this game, but not totally clueless. What I mean is I, this isn't the first MMO I've played, and I was very experienced at the, in the game that I came over from, which was of course Neverwinter Online. But in Guild Wars 2, I am basically class blind and having a lot of awareness problems right now. My brain has basically been fighting on autopilot, raw instinct, whatever you want to call it. And there's not a lot going on up there in the heat of combat. Thankfully, I know why. It's because I haven't accumulated much mechanical knowledge in this game yet. This means I effectively can't use the more advanced knowledge from my past without putting the cart before the horse. It's the exact same problem I was prone to back when I was a noob in Neverwinter. The ultra-practical meta-knowledge and node rotation knowledge was what took me the longest to get, and it changed how I think once I had it, for better and worse. I, now I will say this autopiloting thing I do isn't always bad since my autopiloting can be surprisingly good at times. This was the case in Neverwinter 2, 
Even when I was experienced, there were times where I'd naturally slip in and out of my autopiloting state. And both then and now, there have been some moments where I actually started fighting worse once I snapped out of the trance and started fighting consciously. The issue with autopiloting is I am basically a slave to habit when I'm doing that. And I am limited to performing generally good, but I can't go the extra mile like that. When I wanted to, when I wanted my best performance, usually I needed to switch to planning my actions consciously. To pull the topic back to this new dead eye build I'm working on, the psychological considerations for playing it should force me to correct some of the mistakes I've been making on my Daredevil. Such as not rejoining my team enough for team fights and reacting too slowly. This new dead eye build is probably this new dead eye build is probably going to be a pure plus one -er and team fighter by necessity. I traded some mobility and sustain on it in exchange for ludicrously high DPS. Speaking of reaction time, I don't think I've ever seen a more reaction time centric build than this Deadeye build. It would be a nightmare for older players with a slow reaction time to fight against. For people playing this build, the trait be quick or be killed couldn't be more literal, and it heavily favors younger players. Personally, I am underpracticed and rusty, so my reaction time isn't maxed out despite me being young enough to still have a competitive reaction time. So it will be interesting to see how much practice it takes for me to actually be good on this build. I'm hoping I don't get stalled too much on it. This build has a million stun breaks, so assuming I actually remember to use them, I shouldn't be getting locked down much. But, it still has less cleanses than my Daredevil does, and with so little HP, I'm worried about damage over time effects and other one-shot builds. A potential downside to this build is it might not require much skill to play, and it could get boring fast. Another downside is this build only has 11k HP which means it relies on the enemy team not focusing on my antics in order for it to be viable. In many ways, this build and its gameplay is very similar to Neverwinter PvP Whisperknife builds from modules 17, 18, 19, and 22. Plus, you get the shadowy disappearance playstyle tacked onto it for free, because all thieves use Shadow Step and their DPS doesn't suffer for it. I am torn on whether to stick with Be Quick or Be Killed or swap to Maleficent 7, but I'm leaning more towards sticking with Be Quick or Be Killed. The power timing with Maleficent 7 on felt awkward and delayed on test dummies, probably because I'm being psychologically incentivized to try to reach 7 stacks, and the target is likely to be dead before I reach 7. Those juicy 14k crits I get with 7 stacks and the free initiative pips are tempting as fuck though. This Deadeye build also has a short bow on it, so it's likely to have amazing cleave against downed targets and enemies that have a lot of minions or clones as well as access to poison to slow down enemy reses and depress their healing. It also gives this build more teleports it can use to retreat at a moment's notice, but this build can't keep it up for long if chased by really persistent enemies. Realistically, I'm not sure how often this build will actually be able to use its short bow. With so little HP, it's going to be dangerous to try to kite with it. To highlight another mistake I make on my Daredevil, I also wasn't decapping nodes as often as I should have been. Instead, I default back to my Neverwinter instincts and try to full cap the nodes to get the points flowing again. 
while it is good that I didn't become totally reliant on decaps, since Thief is supposed to use their discretion to do whatever task is actually valuable at the moment. It's also the case that I usually didn't pick the correct the correct action to replace my lack of decapping. When I rewatched my recent videos, I noticed I often behaved like a duelist as well. I'd attempt to fight on a side node one versus one a lot, even though my daredevil isn't optimized for that. This is somewhat of a surprise to me since I let myself get rusty at dueling in recent years in Neverwinter. I was more of a hit and run chicken in recent years. Though come to think of it, I was still a little bit more comfortable standing my ground and fighting within the confines of a node than most rogues were. Sometimes to a fault. I was harder to spook into wasting dodges. The best newer generation rogues would usually choose to dodge rather than conserve in those same situations. Given how one of the two best in slot weapon sets worked back then, those newer rogues weren't necessarily wrong for doing so though. On second thought, my state of mind is more similar right now to when I was a lot less experienced. So maybe I stirred up some muscle memories from back when my main talent and build orientation was duels. I played the dueling oriented scoundrel tree for years and years before I had any node rotation knowledge whatsoever. This was before the rogue class got nerfed in module 16 and became a roamer only. Now this new Deadeye build would obviously suck at dueling and prolonged fights, but it has great smash and grab potential and should have no problem killing its targets one versus one faster than they can react. I'll also mention the movement speed on my daredevil is incredible and I'm still on the fence about losing it. It's got the mobility of a goddamn Neverwinter Warlock in a setting where all the other classes are really slow by comparison. That is hella strong for rotating in the right hands. But the plain faced facts are I'm not ready for that yet. The mechanics for Guild Wars 2 PvP matches are just different enough to throw me off still. <clears throat> On an interesting note, I actually got the idea for this Deadeye build from a dream I had two days ago. I don't remember much of it, but the gist of it was I was in a playground-like setting and playing Guild Wars 2 Deadeye Thief. I don't know if you've ever seen those grey playground platforms that have lots of holes in them, but that is what I was fighting on. Think vertical towers. I can remember a moment where I managed to put a portal mechanic down to save a downed teammate, who was somehow able to use it while downed with no seconds to spare. How they got rezzed by teleporting to that different location was pretty nonsensical. Though the ink Though the interesting bit was what happened after. Afterwards, I was switching between two different thief builds in this dream. One of them was basically my low damage shadow arts daredevil. However, I found myself favoring a different build more than that one in this dream. It was a very high damage dead eye build, but I was using the exact same weapons as my shadow arts daredevil. I kept sensing that my team needed me to play like a DPS team fighter in this match, so I kept changing back to this high damage Deadeye build. Some of the content of that dream must have come from my Deadeye tinkering session from a while back. I had practiced a lot on test dummies using Dagger Pistol, though this wasn't exactly a complete build and I quickly abandoned it and forgot about it once I made my Shadow Arts Daredevil and fell in love with the movement from it. This wouldn't be the first time my dreams while asleep have given me some good ideas that actually worked while awake. A lot of my expertise with using the Neverwinter Power Dazing Strike also came from dreams along with a lot of the more abstract concepts that have also helped me in PvP. 
I think I've explained all I wanted to. Now I'll show you what this build is like on test dummies. I'm a little slow at this, as you can see. I have not practiced it much yet. The build pretty reliably can generate 10k hits for its stealth attack. And 5k for these shadow shots as well, which are crazy strong. Contract accepted. I need to regenerate my, my pips. Who's next? Like even a partially charged one is 8k. There's the power. I think you get the idea. Uh, see you in that next video where I actually play this build inside matches.